hand sanitizers are among the most sought after products during the coronavirus pandemic. Stores are in short supply, and if you're looking to buy online, you're often out of luck. To help people in western New England, local breweries and distilleries are shifting from producing alcoholic beverages to sanitizers. Connecting Point's Ross Lipman takes us to one such brewery in Franklin County to see how they're lending a helping hand to help keep your hands clean. Situated between the impasse of Route 63 and 2A sits Miller's Falls. Everything about it is small, including its brewery, Element Brewing and Distillery. For years, it was the smallest brewery in Massachusetts and still is the smallest distillery in the state. Though small in stature, Element is making a big difference in the fight against the coronavirus. It's really been uh, kind of turning our world upside down. Since mid-March, co-owners Daniel Kramer and Ben Onhalt have been making one of the hardest to find items during the pandemic, hand sanitizer. Yeah, I mean, because it's this is all we're doing right now is running hand sanitizer through the stove. We had kind of heard about some other distilleries uh, making some hand sanitizer, so we kind of quickly looked into that and, you know, we decided it was something we certainly could do. And while it may seem like an easy switch, going from distilling liquor to making hand sanitizer, it required a whole new set of skills for Kramer and Anhalt. We had to figure it out, yeah. Um, and when we first were looking into it, the information wasn't as readily available as it is now. In addition to CDC guidelines on best practices for the use of hand sanitizers, the FDA was initially requiring distilleries like Elements to submit information to verify the efficacy of their sanitizer before making it available to the public. With the need for sanitizer being so high, those requirements have been waived. A drastic times call for drastic measures, so that's, they said if you follow these guidelines that, you know, we give you blanket approval. Element is selling its sanitizer to customers, but the real work has come in the donations they've made to the first responders of Franklin County, from police and fire stations to EMS workers in food pantries. Element has donated gallons of hand sanitizer. I think a lot of people feel very helpless in this situation, um, and it's pretty gratifying to be able to uh, say that I'm contributing to our community and being able to, to do something. We, I, we're just fortunate you know, that we have the equipment and the capability to be able to, to do something that is suddenly so in need. They'll also be the first to tell you these hand sanitizing saviors never saw themselves as white knights. I, I wouldn't say that we like set out with any altruistic goals of like we're gonna save the valley from COVID or we're gonna, we've always been integrated into the community so giving it away to first responders far and wide here in Massachusetts was, that was kind of a no-brainer. Now the combination of Element's generosity to first responders and the high demand from customers to buy hand sanitizer leaves them in the same dilemma your conventional stores selling similar products face. No, <laughs> yeah, we're running out um, and we're, we're kind of trying to throttle people back a little bit you know, because we will have more, so I'd, I'd rather spread it out to everybody who needs it and come back next week and get a little more. So here are two guys who started a business because they liked making booze, having to make ethical choices like rationing hand sanitizer to the public. It illustrates how in the midst of this global pandemic, sometimes the most unsuspecting people have to make the hardest choices. And you're right, yeah, and we were, you know, we were just making gin and tonics before that. <laughs> but we've always kind of been an ethical business to begin with. So it, it's not outside of our wheelhouse to just continue that over to hand sanitizer. I mean, it's, it's part of our MO of what we're doing, but we've never said, oh, you, you can only have three bottles of vodka. You can only have two bottles of vodka. You can only have one bottle of vodka. You know, it, that part is, yeah quite different.